What's going on? Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman, is here and whoa my gosh, what a day. I took a little lunch break. I went and played some top golf with two of my buddies. Did okay, haven't swung the clubs in a little bit. I come home to the Bitcoin Spot ETF is approved. Several Bitcoin Spot ETFs are approved. Oh wait, Gary Gensler says that no, the SEC account was hacked. Well, maybe the Gary Gensler account is hacked and the Bitcoin Spot ETF is approved. And then now the SEC is saying, no, our account was hacked. None of the Bitcoin Spot ETFs are approved. Now, it wouldn't have been a huge surprise. Many people, 90%, in my, like I said in my video yesterday, believe that the Bitcoin Spot ETF is going to be approved by January 10th. Today is January 9th, so it wouldn't have been that crazy. Now, the interesting thing here is, now that the SEC account has been hacked and a false report has been made from the official account, if they were going to approve Bitcoin spot ETFs tomorrow, do you think they're eager to do that? Or do you think Gary Gensler is going to use this as a, aha, I told you they're all criminals, corrupt. They're crazy. They hacked us. We needed to delay it again until March 14th to March 19th. I don't know. I don't know. But it would be kind of even crazier if now after all this hectic news today, who's fake, what's fake, the hack, it's real, it's fake, nope, up, down, left, right, center, and then tomorrow they come out and be like, okay, this is our real account, these are our real people tweeting, and yes, we are approving five of the Bitcoin spot ETFs. Do you think Gary Gensler is not in his office banging the table saying, I told you, it's full of scammers, drug dealers, and tax evaders, look at this, they hacked our account. We cannot approve this Bitcoin spot ETF. I wouldn't doubt it. That would make the story even crazier if they make a post tomorrow and be like, well, sorry, one person ruined it for everybody. We were going to approve the Bitcoin spot ETFs today, but huh, we're going to go ahead and deny the ARK21 shares ETF and delay the other 10. That would be even more, you know, us living in a simulation. That's crazy. Let's see what the Bitcoin price did. Well, on the news from the SEC that the Bitcoin spot ETF was live. We only got, we did get a green bar, but it only went to $48,040. That's kind of crazy. Unless people were really quick to knowing it was fake. And then we immediately saw a massive red candle all the way down to 45000 We are now sitting at 45005 Now the bulls, if you're bullish, you can say, hey, that was just a fake news. They're approving. It's still on for tomorrow. They're going to prove three to five Bitcoin spot ETFs tomorrow for sure. So you might as well take this dip opportunity, get leverage long, and get you know a couple thousand dollars cheaper than before. But I also, from the pessimistic side of myself, I already thought the Bitcoin spot ETF could be denied or delayed. Now we have this hack, which makes me think that Gary's really pushing to get him delayed. And even when it was approved, you had one green candle to $48,050. That didn't even get to my bullish target of a straight up green candle to 50000 And everybody said I was bearish for saying 50000 We only went to 4850 Now we got... In the back of my mind, I think that the crowd could be wrong. 90% of people said January 10th was a for sure. So I said, hey, maybe it could get denied to March. Now you got Gary Gensler hack, SEC hack. Ugh, that's not a good look. And even if it is approved, we only saw a $1,000 rally. I don't know what to think of it. I'm enjoying the volatility. That is some craziness all within five minutes. I thought I was going to have to get some new trades on. Maybe go leverage. Maybe do this. Maybe do that. And the price action just said, you know what? One bar, dump it out. One bar, break this amazing, this very important overhead resistance. Only got to 48.50, and then boom, straight down when it came out that it was SEC actually getting hacked. Leverage positions just got absolutely decimated. That's why I told you yesterday in my video, I would not be in any leverage Bitcoin position because even if I am wrong, the pessimist side of me is wrong, and we do get approved January 10th, I wouldn't want to be in a leverage because I don't know what's going to happen. Extreme volatility in both directions based off of what the SEC wants to do. What are we seeing? You got decimated. Take leverage positions off. Take them off. Unless you're going mean, I could not recommend a leverage position. And I think that this hack just pushes them even further to want to delay these. How weird would it be for them to come out tomorrow and be like, okay, this is the real one. We're actually going live. I think that would be weird. But we live in a simulation, apparently. So a hacker couldn't wait one more day to see if they actually would approve it before hacking them. That's crazy. All right, guys, stay safe out there. We'll get you some more content. We also see Coinbase, for example, post-market down another $4, coming back into this resistance to 382. I think this does have downside risk to this 300 moving average, and really there is a gap all the way down here at 100, and even steeper gap all the way down to 80. That's pretty crazy. What else we got? I know MicroStrategy was getting uh, hammered pretty hard. 
MicroStrategy post 563. You have a gap down here between 534 to 546. That would be nice to fill, but that would put you below the 300 moving average, at least on the hourly. And you have another gap all the way down here uh, around 400 to 385. I mean, these gaps get interesting. If the Bitcoin spot ETF is delayed, uh, denied for ARK and delayed for the others, I, I assume you see a Bitcoin sell-off, like I said in the video yesterday. And then some of these crazy gaps that people thought would never get filled on some of these stocks look a little bit more interesting. Let's look at, uh, what's another, Amara. Amara we sold here at uh, 25, 244% off the low, and the post market now is 24 and a half. We did see that crazy wick. Uh, I had this white line as an interesting point of support, $20, and another one down here around 15. Those would be areas of interest, and we do see the fibs here as well. Um, so we're, we're going to keep an eye on some of these things and see what happens. That's that's what we got today, boys. That's what we got. Stay tuned if you're in our group, patreon.com slash learn crypto to get all of our live trades. Myself, Todd Butterfield, ask us questions. Get involved with the community and the chaos and the fun that we're having over here. And then also you get trades. You know, people are worried about the Bitcoin spot ETF. We're in Pulse Chain and we're up uh, in three days, 106% from a secondary position and 80% from the original position on PTGC. A lot of things going on besides uh, Bitcoin. We sold a uh, band for a 13.5% gainer all the way up here. And now we're all the way down here at $1.59. We are do have a bullish divergence on band, but with the uncertainty in Bitcoin, we have not got a position back. But again, made 14% gains and now it's down 31%. This is all in, you know, a couple days. This was the 8th. I mean, I sold this the 7th, the 6th. I mean, two, three days. Crazy things going on in the crypto market. Join us, patreon.com slash learn crypto. And uh, man, I don't know what to say about the Bitcoin spot ETF now. That is insane. Settling on this previous support over here uh, that we saw in early January. Wow. Talk to you guys later.